Brianna, I would like to call you to the podium, Brianna Becker, um, is a student at the University of Texas at Austin, and she'll share her thoughts with you. Thank you, Brianna. And thank you, Kathleen, again. And before I just get started, as Kathleen mentioned, my name is Brianna Becker, and I'm a third year political theory student at the University of Texas in Austin, in the greatest state in this nation. Sorry, everyone else, but <laughs> I'm very proud of where I am. But even more so this summer, I'm very proud to be here with Claire Booth Loose Policy Institute. And in sharing all of our different experiences as interns, you're going to hear four very different stories from four very different, brilliant, beautiful ladies just like you today. And I think you'll find, underlying all these stories, although we have different experiences, different situations, you'll see that in every situation, as long as we applied our conservative principles, as long as we stayed true to who we are and what we believe, no matter what comes our way, we will be strong, courageous, conservative ladies, no matter where we are or who comes at us. And with that being said, to, as Kathleen mentioned, we all have different situations, put you in my situation. I'm a third year political theory student. I go to the University of Texas at Austin. And here in Texas, you may think, lovely red state, you must have a ball. Oh, I have a ball, but not because it's a lovely red state, because Austin is the liberal capital of Texas. I go to a school where only about 20 to 25 percent of the population is conservative, and that's on a good day if that's not in an election year. And so what I'd really like to stress about my experience is how one can live what I like to call the conservative rock star lifestyle. And you may wonder, conservative rock star, well, it's not sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It's politics. It's living on the edge of the political world. It's being tuned into Rush 24-7 because you may hear your name on Rush Limbaugh. And i just like to give you some of my experiences. Being politically active was never a question for me. The minute I joined, the minute I entered the university, I joined the most conservative group on campus. And the liberals will say it's infamous. I'd like to say we're famous. But I joined the Young Conservatives of Texas. And this is my first bit of information that I feel I really need to share with y'all. When you do enter university, make sure you find a group. And as Kathleen said, if you don't find anything that suits you, make one. And some of our other interns will talk to you about that. But I'd like to offer you my experience working in a large conservative group. And in this group, at our large high school, we, uh, high school, sorry, at our college, I've had the opportunity to live the conservative rock star life. I've had, we like to believe in an aggressive activism style. As Kathleen said, we each have different levels of comfort. Well, our, our comfort level, level is pretty high, Auntie. Just to give you a picture, 9-11. You may think that 9-11 is a pretty easy holiday for everyone to remember it, the loss of 3,000 American lives. Well, at the University of Texas in Austin, 9-11 is celebrated by not any kind of radical groups, but conspiracy theorists. So my group, the Young Conservatives of Texas, we were fed up with this, and we thought this is not right, and we were the minority thinking this is not right. So that morning at 4 a.m., with the help of Young America's Foundation, another great organization, we set up 3,000 American flags on the front lawn of our campus. We didn't ask permission because we knew we would be turned down. So at 4 a.m., we expected about five of us diehards to get up and start placing American flags. We had 35 people up at 4 a.m., and by 6 a.m., we had Fox News and all of our student newspapers chronologuing what we were doing, taking pictures. By 9 a.m., we had every conspiracy theorist within the greater Texas area. <laughs> they had inflated, large inflatable towers on our campus to represent the Twin Towers. But instead of a memorial, they planned a protest and they planned to enlighten us on how 9-11 was an inside job. So that day was spent protecting our flags from those people who were trying to pull them up and debating with them about how our government is not trying to kill us and how there is a reality of Islamofascism terrorist against our way of life. And this got us on Fox News. This got us in the halls of government. We were testifying before congressional hearings. And the lifestyle really does center on things like that. And my first law, find a student organization, or if you can't find one, make one. And from here, I think you'll see that standing to, true to your conservative principles, they're applicable in any situation. And to give you more of a small school perspective, if you choose a smaller school, I'd like to introduce my next intern. And I think it'd be um, 
Chelsea Thompson. Oh, she's going to give you the large school perspective. So, yes, I think so. <laughs> so, thank you, and we'll be up here for questions. I have plenty more stories, so please ask me later. Thanks. <laughs> We had 2,977 flags, and each flag represented one of the innocent lives lost to cowardly terrorist attacks in the World Trade Centers. When we set these up in front of our college campus, we have a great big one to make the visual display and stand firm on our principles that 9-11 should not be a day of debate and should not be a day of political bickering. It should be about those lives lost. And it's our conservative principles of valuing each life. That's really what we stood firm and acted that out in a manner that really got everyone's attention for better or for worse. So. How many of you? 2,977. Wow. And Young America's Foundation um, actually puts that on, so I'm sure they'd be more than happy to tell you more about that as well.